is the 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz SEL Turbo any good off-road? Well, we're gonna find that out today. We are at Uari National Forest on their trail system. And some of the trails here are actually pretty serious. Uh, we're gonna start out on the easy stuff and uh, we'll just see how far this thing will go. I think that whenever we get a wheel in the air, it is just gonna be stuck. So that is what we're gonna find out today. And just for comparison, we brought the Bronco Sport to see how much different they are off-road and which one's better. I think you already know who's gonna win this battle. For the first test of the Santa Cruz, we're gonna take it on this little course right here, which is basically trenches dug into the ground that tests articulation. And since the Santa Cruz and, well, Bronco Sport 2, don't really have articulation it requires locking differentials or at least a very good all-wheel drive system to complete this course and as you can see the hyundai is really struggling right here <laughs> it's not doing it Ooh, almost yeah This one's just spinning. That's it. Well, we didn't make it as far as the rig line. <laughs> no, we didn't. No, that was I was full throttle. Seriously. It that was tried to mode. it tried to grab. Let's try um, let's try normal, I guess. Okay. Does any different? This attempt was done in normal mode, which you can see still struggles a little bit but uh, works a whole lot better than smart mode but later on in the video you'll see we do attempt a little bit of a climb in snow mode and then uh, normal mode again so just trying to see which mode works the best for the santa cruz this test is more of a test of approach depart and breakover angle now the bronco is lifted two and a half inches on a 29 and a half inch tire and the Santa Cruz is lifted one and a half inches but has a 31 inch tire and believe it or not the breakover and approach angles are very close to being the same I would give the Bronco a little bit better uh, breakover angle because the wheelbase is shorter but as you can see both vehicles dug into the dirt just a little bit with the front chin obviously the Bronco has the skid plate and uh, the Santa Cruz just has that little plastic piece but uh, Pretty much a draw on that part of it. Again, you can see the Santa Cruz struggling a little bit. Now this is in normal mode, which was the best of all the ones we tried, but it's still not very good, unfortunately. All right. Just the, idled through it. It did, was nothing. I just but idled the, through it. The police lady's out here already. Now we'll, now we'll go over there and get talked to by the lady in yeah, the, good talking the, to. the Corolla. The is a talking to. <laughs> oh, out here we don't know. A good time. Bought a trail pass. Yep, we got I trail, pass. trail pass. Did you get I mean, your trail pass? Yeah, I, I still got to go get mine. Trail pass. All right, we're going to do a little test of the hill descent control in the Santa Cruz. Um, I have it engaged, and I'm going to set it to four. Uh, so let's see how it does holding down this hill here. This is a pretty decent descent. Can't really see because of the dust. So far, so good. It's letting us go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, there it kicked in. Okay, we got up to about 11 miles an hour there. That was a little sketchy. I almost grabbed the brake, but I'm just trusting it, letting it do its thing. We're gaining speed here. We're gaining a lot of speed. Eight miles an hour feels a little fast for this section. We're going to nine, going to 10, 11. Okay, I gotta grab the brake. I gotta grab the brake. All right, I have to say it didn't really hold the speed like I wanted it to. Not very, very good, honestly. I think I might have done something wrong with the hill descent control. I actually don't think you set a speed. I think it just does what it does and just hope for the best. Nope, oh, somebody coming the other way. What I was afraid of, people coming the other way. <laughs> it's letting me though, there's people passing me. <laughs> We're in a bit of a holding pattern here, waiting for the trail to clear, but as soon as it's clear, we're gonna try this downhill again and see what happens. I'm gonna hold the camera level so you can see the angle we're at right here. It's pretty steep. We're gonna let the trail control, or what do you call it? Hill descent control. I gotta figure out what Hyundai calls it because it's not trail to trail control. It's something else. Oh, we're picking up speed. Okay, we got up to about eight right there. True test is this downhill right here, nine, eight, Okay, okay, it's keeping it under control, more or less. It's a little faster than I would want to go. <laughs> so I'm not sure what the application would be for the hill descent. 
if it doesn't work when you're trying to descend a hill. So I don't know if they, um, they just didn't put enough effort into that feature or what, but it doesn't work. The Santa Cruz rides really rough over these rocks. I gotta say, it's the suspension is loud, it bangs, so it's uh, it's pretty rough. Ooh, hear that? Yeah, it's it's not liking this at all. All right, next test, we're gonna take the Santa Cruz up some pretty steep rocks. As you can see here, it doesn't like this at all. My foot is to the floor. Now this is snow mode and it just will not move. It just refuses to move. So I switch over to normal mode and gunned it. And as you can see, it went, but it is not what I would call effortless. It did it just barely, but I do smell something that smells suspiciously like a transmission burning. So I think we have to turn around and go back down and just leave it at that for the Santa Cruz. It did a little bit of rock crawl. I would not call this thing capable anywhere near in the same realm of capability as the Bronco Sport, but for what it is, it did pretty good. The all-wheel drive system definitely worked. It definitely got me up to this little area here. Like I said, the rest of the trail is way worse and I don't want to push it and break this thing because I do have to drive it home. So there you have it. Ooh, 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 party foul. It, uh, it kind of like severed right here. Do you want that cut off? Uh, no, we'll let it fall okay, off on its own. Oh, uh, hey, that's souvenir. part of it. Yeah, souvenir. Right. Yeah, it's freaking stump. Oh, I didn't no. even see it. So, just a warning to all the yeah. stumps are real no, here. Like, check, by the way. now the smart thing to do here would have just been to go home, but I decided to go back out by myself in the Santa Cruz and live up to my reputation of doing dumb stuff. I'm on a section of Dutch John Trail called the Shoot. It's a very steep trail, very loose, very rocky, full of deep ruts. And if you don't have articulation, the car is going to pop up like that <laughs> and it is very scary and it is very very challenging to come up because it is so loose and has big ruts so you basically are not going to be able to help having at least one wheel in the air when you come up in a vehicle like this and sure enough the santa cruz just would not it just would not I, it refused to go any further than this i tried and tried and tried the santa cruz did something weird here and i want you to listen to the video and if you hear it, the engine just free revs whenever it loses traction. But more worryingly, the transmission basically disengaged and let the car roll free uh, back down the hill. So I had to slam on the brakes to keep from hitting the wall. And I think TFL did a test with the Santa Cruz and found something very similar to that. I tried so hard to get up this trail that it actually said collision detected on the dash. And the check engine light came on. And it was at that point that I said, you know what, it's just not worth doing any more damage to the Santa Cruz. Clearly, it's not cut out for this. So maybe in the future, Hyundai will change some settings in the software and make it do a little bit better in that situation. But let's take a look at the Bronco Sport going up that exact same trail the day before. If you want to see how a Jeep Wrangler handles this trail, watch to the end of the video. I think you'll be surprised at how difficult this trail actually is. Now, if you didn't notice it, the Bronco has already passed the place where the Santa Cruz got stuck without even slowing down. So <laughs> it's hard to see in this video, but right about there is as far as the Santa Cruz got. And uh, the Bronco Sport didn't even slow down. It just cruises right up it like it's nothing. It's in a different league. The problem is it doesn't really have any sort of locking differential and um, very little flex. So it does the torque vectoring where it'll grab the brake on the wheels that are spinning, but it's not a very effective system to be honest. And it has a lot of limitations, but you know what? I got to give it for credit. It made it through all the trails and made it back which is a pretty significant accomplishment for a vehicle like this. So I can't take credit away. It did pretty good. I think that 99% of Santa Cruz owners will never push their car as hard as I did. I just want to find the limits so that people watching this can see what it could do if they really wanted to. Uh, that's the whole purpose of doing these. 
So hopefully this helps someone. And if it has, hey, you know, hit the like button if you want, subscribe. There's more videos of the Santa Cruz coming up. We also do a lot of Bronco sport stuff. All right, guys, I really appreciate you watching to the end and I will see you in the next video. I'm winded from walking up this. Let's watch this Jeep do it. Oh yeah. I'm no mechanic, but it almost sounds like that guy was running on less than all cylinders. 99% of Sunday, Sunday Hannah Cruz, I did it again.